We are very clear. We will be leaving the EU on the 29th of March 2019 at 11 p.m. We will be leaving the European Union on the 29th of March 2019. We are leaving the European Union and we are leaving on the 29th of March 2019. A date etched on her mind, now likely to be scrubbed out of history. But will delay change anything? One pro-Brexit MP said the Prime Minister should use the time and go back to Brussels and get more concessions. We are, this is the compression end of the negotiation time period when these things can become possible. But you have to ask for things in a negotiation. You can't just expect people to offer things if you don't even ask for them. But others suggested that the narrow defeat for Parliament taking control meant the Prime Minister would have to start listening. It actually gives Parliament the opportunity to do what she's been challenging us to do, which is to tell her what we will agree to that isn't just her deal, no deal or no Brexit. There are other alternatives. She's never given the chance for us to vote on them. So what happens next? It's expected the Prime Minister will bring her deal back to the Commons for a third meaningful vote by next Wednesday. If she wins, she's likely to ask the European Council meeting later that week for a short technical delay. But if she loses again, she may have to ask for a much longer one, well beyond the new departure date that MPs voted for today. One Tory MP had this message for his colleagues tonight, forget the bickering and just back the deal. We need to deliver on Brexit. We need to deliver on the mandate that the British people gave us in 2016. We said we would respect their decision. They told us what they wanted. We need to get on. We need to implement it. Some Julie Garland Brexit, that's something that's somewhere, always somewhere over the rainbow, is no good to us. But winning tonight's votes will have provided some relief for the Prime Minister, according to one former adviser. Actually, you enjoy these moments when it seems like a little bit of an upside, so possibly she's having a G&T, um, you know, a, a, a wry smile with the rest of the team as they go through yet another day. Um, and then it's, it's straight into planning and how do you move forward from that? Not losing the definition of a good day for Theresa May now. Libby Vina, News at 10, Westminster.